What's up everyone, this is CyberNight, and today we have some Yu-Gi-Oh! news for you guys. Actually, uh, just about everything on this info was revealed yesterday, I just didn't get a chance to talk about it, so I'm just going to talk about all the news that we've had over the weekend, all in one video, because first off, somebody got Circuit Break early, and they've already been opening up the packs and everything, so with this, uh, we now know the info on a lot of different rarities for the set, like we now know that the Spiral Link Monster is actually going to be an Ultra Rare, which I'm surprised about, I really thought it'd be Secret Rare, because, you know, <laughs> for obvious reasons, that would be a lot tougher to yet and uh, also we know the new Vendred monsters we have info on like some OCG imports that you know are gonna be added to the set for for us so like for example we're getting the Luna light cards that we're missing yes they're finally gonna be in circuit breaks so I know a lot of people are gonna be happy about that more on that later on and also too uh, there were some cards that were revealed for Japan over this weekend I'm gonna also talk about them in this video too they're from different sets obviously from circuit break but we'll be talking about them towards the end of the video and I'll say what sets they're from and all that info too but I just kind of want to put all the news in one video and uh, let's go ahead and get started so so first off, let's go on ahead and talk about the new Vendred cards. So, first one we have is Vendred Chimera. Uh, here's a picture of it. Of course, it's, the pictures aren't on the organization, so I'm going to, like, edit them in so you guys can see them. So, this is what uh, Vendred Chimera looks like. Looks freaking awesome, in my opinion. Anyway, it is a Dark Zombie Level 5 2300 Attack Zero Defense Monster, and uh, its effect is uh, you can uh, Ritual Summon this card with any Vendred Ritual Spell card. When a card or effect that would destroy a card on the field is activated, quick effect, you can banish one zombie zombie monster in your graveyard and negate that activation, and if you do, destroy that card. If this card is tributed or banished for a ritual summon, all monsters your opponent controls lose uh, 500 attack and defense. You can only use uh, effect of uh, Vendred Chimera once per turn. I'm not really sure if it's supposed to mean each effect or what, you know, because translations are still kind of, you know, uh, have like a little bit of weird wording with them. So yeah, this card's pretty cool. Uh, first off, you are able to uh, negate any card or effect that would destroy a card on the field. You can just banish a zombie monster in your graveyard and just negate the activation. So that's a pretty good effect for it too, and not too bad on the attack either with that 2300 attack. So I can see that coming in handy. It's good to have some kind of negation effect for you. And then of course, when it's banished for a uh, ritual summon, then all monsters your opponent control lose uh, 500 attack and uh, 500 defense. Or if it's tributed for Ritual Summon 2, by the way. So you're able to even uh, weaken your opponent's monsters. Not bad. I mean, I can see this card definitely coming in hand in the future. It's kind of one of those things, like, I feel like in the future it's going to make more sense. Because uh, I, I think what we have, like, two more sets at least where we're going to get more Ventred support. So, I'm going to assume we're going to get a couple more uh, Ritual Monsters as well, and I think in the future this card will be a lot better because of that, because I'm going to assume there's going to be like some kind of really strong, like I'm wondering if it'll be like level 10 or something, uh, Ritual Monsters. So, can't wait to see what the future's going to hold for them, but not bad. I, I think that's definitely going to come in handy, and also, like I said, I'm kind of surprised it's actually a Seeker Rear. It does look really cool, though. Then after that, they are getting a new field spell, which is Ventured Knights. Uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! The organization, they don't have... Uh, the effect for it on their website, so Italian Yu-Gi-Oh actually has it on Facebook, so here's the picture of it as well, so I don't have to edit that one in, but uh, here's the effect. I'm going to read off their effect. Again, translation might be kind of uh, weird on that too, so anyway, uh, the card is called Vendred Knights, and uh, its effect is you can discard a card, add one Vendred monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Vendred Knights once per turn. When slash if a Vendred monster you control uh, destroy a, an opponent's monster by battle, you can banish one Vendred monster from your graveyard. That Vendred monster can make a second attack in a row on an opponent's monster. So, yeah, again, translation's weird. I mean, it's like monster instead of monster, so it's kind of tough to read when you do like that. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's Dragon Ravine, kind of, <laughs> for Vendreds. I mean, that's what it sort of reminds me of. Of course, not exactly the same, but that's what that reminds me of. If you discard a card, you add a Vendred monster from your deck to your hands. So that really reminds me of, like, Dragon Ravine. And then, of course, not only that, it can uh, make it so that it can uh, protect one of your Vendred monsters. You can banish uh, one Vendred monster from your graveyard and then make it so, you know, one of your Vendreds can't be destroyed by battle, so that's pretty good. And then, of course, you can also make a second attack. One of your Vendreds can make a second attack on your opponent's monster, so sounds pretty awesome. I think it's definitely gonna come in handy for them. Good searcher, and like I said, it, it really is like a dragon ravine. It's what it reminds me of. So, of course, I'll have the info on that in the description as well. 
Then, of course, for the rest of this page, it's just going over different uh, rarities and stuff for Circuit Break, so I'm going to switch to that real quick, and then we'll go back to talk about the rest of Vendred cards. So, Secret Rares, we have a Squib Draw, that's, you know, one of the Rocket cards, basically, Quick Revolve. Uh, Vendred Chimera, like we already said, that's going to be Secret Rare, so... That's kind of interesting. Ultra Rares, though, yes, Spiral Double Helix. Like I've already said, that's going to be an Ultra Rare. Still really, really surprised about that. Like, I I really thought it'd be a Secret Rare and be like one of those, like, you know, get a couple of them per case kind of thing, like a $100 card. But it might actually be cheaper. I'm sure it's going to be a sought after, though, Ultra Rare. I mean, obviously. Uh, Vendred Knights, that's a Field Spell. That's a Super Rare. Uh, Manaphy's cards, really looking forward to these, by the way. So, looks like there's some lower rarities. So, uh, yeah, looks like one of them's gonna be an ultra rare, though. Uh, number 41's actually gonna be super, so that's go gonna be uh, fairly easy to get, really. And also, uh, Destrotto, that is actually gonna be a rare. Definitely looking forward to that. If you don't know what card that is, that's this one. So, it's like that Dragon Tuner that everyone's looking forward to. That's the one I'm waiting on before I upgrade uh, Dragoonities. I think that's gonna be fun. And then we're getting our Amazonas cards, too. So, they're all gonna be commons. Not bad. Uh, of course, there's a lot more there, but I'm just kind of skimming through it. Even a Twin Triangle Dragon, that's actually going to be a rare. That's that Link Monster. Definitely come in handy. And even that Fire King card, by the way. You guys might want to hear about that. You know, Fire King players out there. So, because you are getting a new card. And then, of course, here's the other page. This is going over more rarities and stuff, but also the other uh, Vendred cards. So, first off, let's talk about this new monster. It is Vendred Strain. It is a Dark Zombie Level 2, 500 attack, and 2,000 defense monster. And, of course, its effect is, uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can reveal one Vendred card in your hand, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. A Vendred monster that is ritual summoned using this card on the field gains the following effect. You can only use each effect of the previous uh, Vendred Strain once per turn. Uh, after damage calculation, if this card battled an opponent's monster, you can draw one card, then discard one card. So yeah, it's another Vendred effect monster that, um, when it's used as part of a ritual summon, it gives you an effect. So with this one, it reminds me of uh, the Dark World card. I can't remember its name for some reason. <laughs> I just woke up recently, so I guess that's why uh, it, the names leave me. You guys can tell me in the comments. Uh, but anyway, it has basically the same effect. We're able to draw a card, then discard a card. So that's pretty good. I mean, you know, being able to do that, obviously you can search for a card, you're getting that draw, and then you are able to just discard one, which you can send when you're Vendred to the graveyard, that's not a problem for you, or just any zombie, I mean, obviously that's not a problem either, and yeah, I mean, simple effect, but really good effect too, I think that will come in handy. And then after that, we have the uh, new uh, normal trap card for Vendreds. Uh, I believe this is the last one too, because it looks like they're getting four cards just like last time, and that is Vendred Reunion. Anyway, again, I'll show the picture at some point, but uh, its effect is uh, reveal one Vendred Ritual monster in your hand, special summon any number of uh, your banished Vendred uh, with different names whose levels equal exactly the level of the uh, revealed monster in face down defense position. Tribute all those face down defense position monsters. After that, ritual summon that ritual monster from your hand. You must be able to ritual summon to activate and resolve this effect. So yeah, I guess they got a ritual trap card, if you want to think of it like that. Anyway, what this card does, you know, just able to uh, special summon a bunch of your banished Vendred monsters, which obviously, that's not a problem. You're going to be uh, banishing them anyway for different ritual uh, spells and different things too. And you're able to, uh, you know, summon one of your ritual monsters from it. I mean, it's, it's really that simple. A uh, pretty good effect from that, and being able to, you know, bring back your Vendreds to then help you bring out a ritual monster, that's definitely going to come in handy. So that's a really good trap card, and uh, yeah, I mean, not much else to say other than it is is like another option, like another ritual spell, but a trap card this time for them. So, and it looks like it's actually going to come in handy. Then after that, of course, we have more rarities, if you guys want to look through these. Uh, Magna Rocket, a dragon, that's one of the effect monsters, that's going to be an ultra rare. Um, yeah, I kind of figured they'd be a little bit tougher to get from this set. Uh, another one of the Metaphys cards, that one is going to be super, and it looks like the uh, Subterror Link monster, that's what this one is, uh, Subterror Behemoth uh, Fiendus, uh, that is uh, going to be a super rare. So, you know, it's not going to be too tough to get. I'm glad about that. That's another one I really want for this set. It's not really getting the, you know, the spotlight, like the spirals, obviously, but still looking forward to it. Uh, after that, what do we have? But these are a bunch of commons and stuff, so we have some different crawler monsters. The Mecha Phantom Beast is going to be a common. The Mermel as well. Also, the uh, Ventured cards we just talked about, Strain and Reunion, those are both going to be commons. And then after that, of course, here's what I know a lot of people are excited about. Lunalite Crimson Fox and Lunalite Keldeo Chick are both commons in this set. So yes, you are finally getting the rest of your Lunalites. They are in this set. So I, I don't know why you guys had to wait so long for these. I mean, we're still waiting for the Crystal Beast Pendulums too. So who knows when that's going to happen. 
So yes, of course, next up, I want to talk about this. Uh, it is like the, what was its original name? Was it like Illusionist Faceless Mage? I think that was the original name. It, a really creepy card. <laughs> but anyway, this is going to be Legendary Duelist 2. I wanted to bring it up in this video because this was also revealed yesterday. So here's a better image of it. Terrifying card. Like seriously, I don't like like doll, like monsters anyway, so you guys know it creeps me out. I remember it too from like the opening of the original series, but anyway, it's being remade into a new card for Pegasus, so I'm going to read off its effect as well, and it is Magical Illusionist Faceless Mage. It is a level 5 dark spellcaster effect monster with 1,200 attack and 2,200 defense. Its effect is uh, you can only use each effect of Magical Illusionist Faceless Mage once per turn. If a face-up, ice restrict, fusion monster, or relinquish you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect, and this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can special summon this card. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one ice restrict, fusion monster, or relinquished in your graveyard, special summon that monster. So, yeah, actually, more good support for Ice Restrict monsters, Fusion monsters, and, of course, Relinquished. So, that's why I wanted to bring this card up. It's actually pretty awesome. Whenever one of them is, of course, uh, destroyed by battle or by a card effect, you get this card. Then, when this card is just removed from the field, which I like how it's that, it's not like even being destroyed, just removed from the field, then you're able to get your Ice Restrict Fusion monster or Relinquished from your graveyard and special summon it. So, that is actually pretty awesome. It kind of reminds me of, like, Sun and Moon Dragon sort of thing. You know, one get destroyed, then the other one come out kind of thing. And uh, that's actually a good card for them. So, again, I'm kind of surprised. Another older card returning. Especially this one, though. It's kind of one for my nightmares. But either way, really awesome. And then, not only that, we have a new uh, World Legacy card that is going to be an Extreme Force. Here's a better picture of it, too. There you go. So, yeah, it's another one of the World Legacies. I think it's, like, a shield or something, I think. I don't know. It's hard to tell from the images on those. I don't know all the lore. But anyway, it is uh, World Legacy, World Shield. Well, okay, I guess I'm right. Anyway, it is a level 6 Dark Machine effect monster, 0 attack, and 3,000 defense. Anyway, uh, its effect is you can only use this card's third effect once per turn. The first effect is uh, this card in a monster zone is unaffected by the affected effects of monsters special summon from the extra deck. Then, of course, the second effect is World Legacy cards you control in the same column as this card can neither be targeted nor destroyed by opponent's effects. And then the third effect, the one that you can only use once per turn, is that uh, if this card is in your graveyard, during the standby phase, you can pay 1,000 life points, special summon this card from your graveyard, then your opponent can special summon one monster from their hand or graveyard. So yeah, it is a World Legacy kind of protector card. I mean, it's a shield, so makes sense. Other than that, you know, it's one that you can keep reviving over and over, so that's pretty good, but also your opponent gets a revive from it too, so... Kind of a double-edged sword, really, if you want to think of it like that. But, uh, not bad. I mean, more World Legacy support is pretty cool. And, uh, can't wait to see what they're all gonna do once we, uh, get all of them. Because I'm gonna- it's been, like, one of them, I think, per set. So, I assume we're gonna still have, you know, several of them to go. And once they're all revealed, can't wait to see what they're all gonna do. But this one is more defensive, obviously. You know, again, it's a shield, so makes sense. And, uh, one that will be pretty interesting to try out. So, you know, other than that, not too much to say, but... Yep, there you go. That is all the Yu-Gi-Oh! news. Like I said, I covered it all in one video. I will have all the links to everything in the description, so there's a lot, like I said. So I'll try to have everything for you guys. And uh, just tell me what you guys think about all these cards are revealed, and even rarities and stuff from Circuit Break. Are you excited about any of this? Are you not excited about it? You know, just let me know down in the comments below. But for me, I am really happy that Spiral Double Helix, like I said, is an ultra rare. Really surprised. And uh, the new Ventred cards look awesome. I'm definitely going to try to hunt those down. I'd love to build Ventreds. I was kind of waiting on you know, the next set to give us more support, so I think I'm going to try to build them next. And um, a lot of other things, you know, that were revealed too, I'm definitely looking forward to, especially Destrotto. I really am surprised that that's a rare, because I thought it would be at least holographic, and uh, I was even wondering if it could be secret rare, and I'm glad it's a rare because I need a few of those, I need like a playset of them, so definitely happy about that, and can't wait. So, yeah, just uh, tell me what you guys think, of course, down in the comments, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news and other uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! related videos too, like I said, I have a lot of deck profiles planned, even one for today, the Dark Magician deck profile will be uploaded later, and uh, random pack opening AS2, so I'm going to spam you guys with some videos and everything, so thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys later. See ya!